Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. Uh, I'm Dan Taylor and I'm here with my colleague James Sayer. How are you doing, James? Hi, Dan. Great to be here. Very, very well. Thank you. Good. Now, we've had a few people ask us, Google, edu uh, Google Workspace Education Plus, what are all the features? So we thought we'd make a quick video just walking through all the features you get. And we're quickly going to mention the existing features. And this video is going live on the 30th of June. And last week, there was a bunch of extra features announced. We're going to tell you the original features, the new features. It's a very concise video, so you'll know everything that's in Education Plus. Sounds good, James? Sounds good, Dan. Exactly. A few people have been asking. They know about the big feature releases, but it's everything else that's coming this year. Got it. So important to say, first thing, uh, Education Plus is a premium workspace edition. It's $5 per student per year or for euros pricing in a bunch of currencies. But this feature, you get everything. You get all the teaching and learning stuff. You get all the uh, security and admin stuff, all the meet the classroom. This is the comprehensive solution. And, and it's important to know that because everything new that comes in workspace, and there's a lot of new features coming down the line, some of them are only coming to Education Plus. So if you have this version, you're guaranteed to get every top of the range feature in workspace. Yeah, and just to, again, to repeat, we're only going to be talking about those premium features in this. So that'll be anything, not just Education Plus, actually, but also the other products, teaching and learning and education standard. But really, Education Plus has everything that we're talking about. Got it. So let's jump into the features. Again, This is the, these are the features that were prior to the announcement on the end of June. So James, first, we've got a few meet features to fly through quickly. Yeah, absolutely. So the meet features we have talked about in depth before. Just very quickly, we have recording of meets, Q&As and polls within the Google Meet, attendance tracking. Actually, attendance tracking has been updated recently, breakout rooms, and then noise cancellation. If you haven't checked out noise cancellation, it's a very, very cool feature. Got it. So on to Google Classroom. Now, we're going to get to the new super cool Classroom features, but originally, James, it was just originality reports that came to Classroom. Yeah, remember, of course, a free feature set, so fundamentals, a free one. You do actually get three originality reports, but on the Education Plus side of it, on that feature set, you're getting unlimited reports. And then a feature set coming in the future will be the ability to upload um, student documents to a school's own repository. Got it. Now, if you're um, an IT director, or an, an IT manager, a tech director of a school, you're going to be interested in the security and admin features. And there's a bunch of these that people get as standard in Education Plus. Yeah, and I think they're clearly listed here. We won't go through them all, but we'll just highlight a couple. Obviously, there's, you are getting a faster response time from Google. So your support, you're getting premium support. It's very, very good to be aware of. Security Center and export to BigQuery. BigQuery is um, enterprise level analysis software. You can pull out basically any of the data from within your domain to examine, and then of course you can export it to Data Studio or wherever. You're getting the extra storage, 20 gigabytes of extra storage. And in fact, Google just announced yesterday that if you sign up to a three year plan for Education Plus, your storage will be unlimited until the end of 2023. That's a big announcement just yesterday. So actually in 2022, they're going to be restricting storage to 100 terabytes. But if you have a three-year Education Plus plan, then you actually get that unlimited storage all the way through to 2023. And then each license adds on 20 gigabytes to your storage. So every license you have will be 20 gigabytes extra to your pool of storage um, and there's some very, really, really cool tools coming out as well to manage the storage in your domain. Got it. Just to backtrack on what something you said there, James. So just so everyone knows, uh, Education Plus is a one-year commitment. You can take it for a year and then choose just to, to let it go afterwards, and, and you'll go back to normal education uh, workspace fundamentals. So you can give it up after a year, no worries. But if you want to sign up for two or three years, you get a discount. So if you do for two years, you get a 5% discount, and three years, you get a 10% discount. So really interesting there. So let's go on to the new features. Uh, we've got a few to get through. So James, first of all, Google Classroom, what was announced here? Yeah, I think the big one that everybody's excited about is going to be the roaster imports, yep. uh, which is in 
in partnership with uh, or powered by Clever. So if you're familiar with Clever, I think a lot of schools in the US use Clever already. But it's going to enable any student database, SIS, SMS, um, to be able to connect with Clever and then import your rosters directly to Google Classroom. Uh, yeah, and again, I mean, we see this as being the, 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 the momentous occasion where Google Classroom beco- becomes a full learning management system stroke, you know, uh, virtual information system, v- VLE, sorry, I'm forgetting the UK term, VLE stroke LMS. So I think this is really a, a sort of game changer for, for Classroom. It really gives you the opportunity to manage it centrally, which you didn't have before. It does. I know schools which already have these databases, they already have this data. They're asking how can they sync that data? Well, this solution should answer that question. Great. Classroom add-ons. This is the second thing you now get in Classroom. It's new. We haven't had a chance to look at these yet, but it's coming this year and it looks really cool. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're all listed there. I mean, that's just, again, a sample. I think there's going to be a lot more at release. I mean, there were some big ones here. Adobe's got involved, obviously, Nearpod, uh, IXL. These are some big companies. I'm sure there's going to be far more than this at release date. Definitely. Um, we'll skip the video. So, Meet announcements. What's coming in Google Meet? Okay, so there are a few features here. Now, there's one a few people were asking about. Present to Meet in Docs, Slides, and Sheets. So what you can do right now, in Google Meet, you can invite your screen in. So if you've, you're in a Google Meet, you can share your tab or within a doc, you can actually click, there's a little button now, and you can share that doc to the Google Meet. But this is completely different. This is really upgrading the collaborative nature of it. It's going to allow you to actually have your Google Meet within your document or your slide or your sheet. But it's, again, this is only available for Education Plus. You can be in a doc in a spreadsheet and start a video chat and discuss it with the people it's shared with. Yeah, I don't see this being a massive feature set for use with students. But if you're collaborating with your team and you've got a quick question to ask your team, you want to collaborate on that doc, you're all adding comments, just get into a meet directly from within the doc, and then you can get it. It's like the chat function, which is already there, but far more powerful. Definitely. Let's go through the slides here. So live translated captions. This is really a great solution potentially for collaborating with schools in different countries. Yeah, and and parent-teacher meetings as well. A lot of, I mean, obviously a lot of schools, not just international schools, but schools in in the UK or or in, uh, well, anywhere, North America. We obviously have students from a variety of different backgrounds and the native language is quite often not English. And this really enables parent-teacher conferences to come alive. So you can communicate quite comfortably with parents. Live captions, it's amazing. I think it's going to be a limited number of languages initially, but then, of course, it will expand in the future. Definitely. Uh, Public live streaming. People have been asking for this. There was a limit before. Now you can host public live live streams. Anyone can access outside the school. Exactly. And, And similar to live streams that you see on YouTube, you can now host those as a school without an additional piece of software. You can do that all within the same domain. So sports events, graduation parties, and so on. Fantastic. Attendance reports, um, there's a few improvements here. I don't know if there's much to say about that. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, you can see the visual there. You can see a sample of your attendance report. We were just talking about live streaming. Now you get viewership data on your live stream whilst you're you're live streaming. Um, There's additional admin controls coming as well. But you can see a sample of the report right there. Got it. Some safety improvements for breakout rooms. This is really cool. Remember breakout rooms, you get Education Plus. You can have a bunch of these. Now there's a bunch of additional features there. Yeah, so I think that before with the breakout rooms, the security settings didn't match the main Google Meet that they were launched from. But then in the future, they will. This is a premium feature because obviously breakout rooms are only available to Education Plus. Got it. Uh, When you end a breakout room, participants force back to the meeting. This is something a lot of teachers have been wanting. Yeah, exactly. You close those breakouts down. Where did the students go? Well, now they're they're back in the main room. Yeah. Uh, And admins can end the meeting for all. Um, This is probably not not much to say about this, really. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, a scenario where a teacher forgets to end the meeting and it's left open. An admin could go through this and then at the end of the day and close all of those Google Meets just in case there's any left open. I'm sure there's a way to programmatically enable that, maybe with an API or something as well. Got it. 
So um, a couple more of the announcements in terms of admin and, and security here. Um, well, yeah, and talking again about the smart, there's a couple of things. There's a bit about security and a bit about the collaborative nature of docs, sheets, and slides. Yep. Um, there's a couple of, in fact, if you go to the next slide, Dan, I think yep. we talk about Smart Canvas. Again, Smart Canvas is the education plus feature set that brings together a lot of different features. You can see right now, actually, that is, they're demonstrating Smart Chip in the GIF. Smart Canvas brings together all of those features together into one. Yeah, so that's really cool. Much. Great. So writing tips, and again, this is only an education plus, like all these features. Um, there's probably a few things this can be used for, but it's an interesting feature for schools. It is. And it will be interesting to see how this plays out in the long term. I'm, I'm expecting you know, limited um, functionality initially, but then knowing Google, they, they've got so much a machine learning based upon people's writing, of course, that this will expand its usage. It's going to talk, I mean, there's a gender recommendation there. I think it's going to be interesting to see how those recommendations change, how we interact with docs. Yeah, definitely. So assisted analysis, formula suggestions, etc. This is big for you as a spreadsheet guy. It is. Do you like my spreadsheets, Dan, very much? I do. I'm a huge fan Again, of spreadsheets. I mean, we saw Explore a few years ago, the Explore tab come out. That was brilliant. Uh, now, formula suggestions is already there. It's just taking it to the next level again. So really suggesting what analysis you might want to make on your data. Uh, this was this one we were looking for earlier, <laughs> presenting yeah. to me in doc slides and sheets. And there we go. You can see in the GIF, they're in the doc. They're probably chatting in the doc. They may be commenting in the doc. You can immediately open up your Google Meet. And there you go. I mean, it could equally be for um, students collaborating as well on projects. Yeah. I think it's a great feature, really, really good feature. Yeah. Um, Smart Canvas, we mentioned this uh, earlier, I think. Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be things in there, table styles and so on, checkboxes, and there's a few features there. Exactly. Drive labels, um, this is based on sensitivity areas, security, et cetera. Yeah, I mean, this is a strong admin data feature set. Obviously, this is about data loss prevention, so maybe teachers are not going to be seeing a great use for this, but admin certainly will. Uh, and also trust rules. Yep. Uh, there's actually a couple of other things coming out as well around this about um, recomm uh, recommended audiences as well. So it's all about who you can share with. So if you, for example, have um, a sister school or partner school, you may allow your teachers to share in between the two schools, but the students cannot. Um, there's another feature set coming out as well that allows you to recommend audiences to share with. So now when you go to share a document, you can share to anybody, uh, you, anybody who can view the document, for example, you could share to a specific list of users, but with recommended audiences, in addition to this, you'll see a list of groups, five groups that are recommended to share with. So for example, that could be all teachers or it could be administration. So, James, that's really all the features. We flew through it pretty quick, which is what we wanted. Keep this video to 15 minutes, which is about what we're going to do. Um, these features are all being rolled out this year, and you can see kind of a brief timeline uh, in, in this GIF, but basically pretty much everything or everything is coming this year. Exactly, and I think Google's rushing, obviously, to get a lot of these releases out by August. So, yeah, yeah we'll, exactly. we'll actually see them all, especially the, uh, the one we see there, the roster, import very very important in august definitely not much more to say other than get in touch it's james's email my email is down at absolvents.com we can obviously we're a partner and we can help you set up education plus but even if not we'll help you if you've got any questions just get in touch yeah absolutely any questions about education plus just drop us an email even if you're not interested in upgrading just got a general question it drop us that email great thank you very much james and thank you everyone for watching thanks dan and thanks everybody for viewing us